Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. After selecting the Shape tool in the toolbox, you can select the Rectangle tool within the Tool Options bar to create rectangles by simply clicking and dragging from one corner diagonally across to the other corner over the area within the image where you want the rectangle to be placed. You can hold the Shift key down after you begin to click and drag to draw a perfect square instead of a rectangle if needed. Be careful not to press this key before dragging your mouse after drawing the first shape. Pressing Shift is also the keyboard shortcut for Add to Selection and it will act as such if you depress it before drawing a new shape when there is a shape layer selected. Note that this is also the same way that you draw the rounded rectangles within your image. When you select the Ellipse tool, you will draw an oval shaped area from corner to corner over the area that the ellipse will cover. If you want to draw a perfect circle instead, hold down the Shift key after you begin to click and drag the mouse. You can also draw from the center of where you want the circle to be placed diagonally outward by holding down the Alt key after you start to click and drag with the Ellipse tool. Also, be careful and ensure that you press down the Alt key after you begin clicking and dragging the Ellipse, because pressing Alt is also the keyboard shortcut for Subtract from Selection, and it will act as such if you depress it before beginning to draw a new shape when there is a shape layer selected. Drawing a polygon is like drawing the Ellipse while holding down the Alt key. Select the Polygon tool and then click and drag from the center of where you want the polygon to be placed outward to its edge and it will grow as you drag in all directions. Note that in the tool options bar you can specify how many sides you want the polygon to have in the sides text box. You can select the line tool to draw a line of the width that you type in pixels into the width text box in the tool options bar. After you've specified a line width, you simply click and drag to create a straight line. Using the custom shape tool is a bit different from using the other drawing tools. First, select which shape you want to draw after selecting the Custom Shape tool by choosing a shape from the Shape drop-down that appears within the Tool Options bar. Then click and drag in the image to create the selected shape. Once again, remember that holding down the Shift key after you begin to click and drag will constrain the proportions of the shape if desired. and that prevents warping of the image. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.